Countdown is on until this year's Democratic National Convention held right here in Chicago this August. Today we learned more from leaders and security officials about the plans and preparations for this major event. Elizabeth Matthews joining us live with more on that story. Elizabeth. Yeah, guys, they met here at City Hall this afternoon to talk about security at the convention. We now know that Chicago police officers are going through what they're calling constitutional policing, allowing groups to say protest, but also maintaining the, the peace. So the Democratic National Convention is considered to be a national special security event. So the Secret Service has a very large role in planning the security for this convention. Secret Service will be responsible for security inside the convention at both United Center and McCormick place. Chicago police will patrol outside while the CPD superintendent says still patrolling the city's neighborhoods. The police districts, he says, will be covered. Superintendent Larry Snelling says they will not tolerate criminal activity and they've changed some things since a scathing inspector general's report about how CPD responded to large protests following the death of George Floyd, which Snelling says was a pop-up widespread civil unrest event. Our officers had not been properly prepared for that and I will I will be the first to say that our officers were out there without the training to deal with that type of situation the training that we provided for our officers during the 2012 NATO event it proved that our officers could provide a service in a large scale protest that was completely constitutional Snelling says his officers are being trained on things like First Amendment rights and how to properly respond to things like violence and vandalism during those large-scale events. Residents who live or work or play around the areas of United Center and McCormick Place should know that there will be a security perimeter set up around those locations, including things like road closures. We're told that they're still working on those maps. They will be released in the coming weeks. For more on that, if you want to stay up to the know, you can download the OEMC app. Reporting live, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.